Hello there, and welcome to day 10 of our German beer advent calendar adventure. Uh, let's just dive right in. We're going to bust open day 10 here and see what we get to sample. And uh, yeah, let's just get right to it. Mm. Let's see. So day 10 is right here. Making a little progress here. <laughs> So let's see what we got in store for us today. Uh, we have Hosel. It is a. It says it's a Marzen beer. Mmm, delicious. Marzens are, as I mentioned, we had a couple of them already. One of my favorite styles. So sweet. Another one. Totally stoked. Uh, let's see. It's. Yeah, Hosel Marzen beer. Right there. It says on here, Privat Brauerei Hosel. Hmm. Kind of an interesting looking sigil they got. They got looks like some uh, some later hosen or something there on the front. So 5.3%. Interesting. Alrighty, so yeah. Let's bust this can open here and mm. yeah. Mmm. Mm. Smells good. It's got that nice bready smell right off the bat. Mm. Yeah. A little darker than some of the other ones we've had recently, but not too dark. Looks like it's kind of a yeah, nice color. Pretty clear looking. It's a nice color. It's kind of a light brown. Mm. Not too dark, not too light. Doesn't really have any kind of reddish tinge to it or anything. Just just a nice, nice good color. Forward to tasting this. Mm. It's got that kind of, yeah, definitely got that bready scent to it. Mm. It does kind of has a little bit of a, I want to say like maybe a, a little bit of a clove or something. Give it a sample. Yeah, down the hatch. All right. Ah, mmm. Yeah, that's uh, definitely a Marzen. This one's a little, kind of, a little bit of a weirder taste to it, though. It, it's, it's certainly has a bready taste. This one is almost a little bitter, just a tad. It it really has more of a hoppy taste to me. Uh, it kind of has more of that bitter hoppy taste. Um, yeah, it's kind of smooth and bready up front and then towards the back end it as it goes down it, it kind of um gets sharper it kind of kind of comes in and then just kind of goes good and then starts to fade off slowly um it's definitely good though I'm not as quite a fan of that, that bitter hoppy taste in the back end, um, but I definitely enjoy the first part of it. 
It's still good though, it's also pretty smooth, it doesn't feel very filling, it, it kind of does initially, but but then it subsides. I don't know if that makes any sense, but, you know, hey, that's just my assessment so far. good though. really like that color. It's, it's a really nice color. I definitely enjoy that. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... Hosel. Mars and Beer. It gets better the more you drink it. <laughs> I guess once you kind of get, once I kind of get used to that that flavor, because it's pretty unique um, in my experience. It just that sort of a weird transition where it kind of starts out smooth and bready, and then there's kind of a sharp, um, sort of bitter hoppy twang there that kind of subsides. So very interesting. I, I definitely enjoy sort of the uh, the dynamic of the flavors there, how it shifts while you're drinking it. That's that's very interesting, so. All right, go ahead and uh, just pop this over here and I'm gonna wrap it up for today. This is day 10, so we're approaching the halfway point here. Whoops. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna call it here, so I'll see you back here on day 11. You take care and you all have a good one, all right? 